Well, the storm also made a social media celebrity out of Matthew Heller, the Tampa, Florida resident, has been posting some unusual videos of his home. He joins us now. Uh, Matthew, first of all, you're okay. Yes, yeah, that's the important part. We made it. Uh, yeah. yeah, so let's talk about this video that has gone a viral. It's of you in a purple kayak paddling in your living room. Uh, how, I, I can't even imagine what it, how quickly this must have happened. Explain to us, did this happen in course of hours? Was it less than an hour? Was it, I mean, how long did this take for the water to fill up your living room? Yeah, in, within an hour and 45 minutes, I had about five to five and a half feet, almost up to my chest in water. Uh, you know, we always get a little bit of rain here and a little bit of water that comes in. And I, I suppose I maybe didn't heed the warnings as much as I thought I should have. The, uh, the storm was off the coast. So I really didn't think it would be that bad. We moved as many of the valuables as we could from downstairs, upstairs. There was still some stuff that didn't make it. I figured we'd just get a couple inches of water. Boy, was I wrong. It started coming in and it didn't stop. Like I said, within two hours, it was just uh, overwhelming. I have a bunch of different plants around my house and cactuses and stuff. And as soon as they all started floating, they were going into my legs and I was stepping on stuff. Uh, I had the kayak kind of as like my emergency escape pod. And uh, I ended up jumping in the kayak and then floating around. As the water came in, I went live on TikTok just to kind of share a little bit of the water. Never would I have thought it got as high as it did and uh, ended up having, you know, 40,000 people in there. And uh, it, yeah, it just it really blew up. So was the, I mean, I know you thought about the kayak as your uh, rescue out, but where, was the kayak in the living room? Was it in the garage? Where was this exactly? Because you seem so comfortable in it and you're not in panic mode at all. Yeah, I, I wasn't too worried. Uh, I, I'm born and raised in Florida. I've been through so many different hurricanes. I just, we didn't expect it to be this severe. We still did preparations, but uh, nowhere near enough. So we have a lot of wet drywall and insulation and now electrical that has to be done. Matt, but how, it, how high is the water in your living room right now? Is it still that bad? I only have a couple inches at about 4 a.m. It all, it took about two hours to fill up and it was all gone within 45 minutes. As soon as the storm passed our location, the wind died down and it all drained back into the river. But uh, it, it came out, it washed out really, really quickly. Uh, we've had all the windows open trying to air it out now just because the concern with mosquitoes and mold right. and all that. Now, what are your plans in terms of rebuilding and do you have insurance? Uh, yeah, I just heard that previous report. Uh, I also do not have insurance. The, the United States and Florida has a real crazy problem with those insurance premiums. I mean, it would have cost uh, more than the mortgage what it would cost to have this house because of, because of the uh, because of the insurance. So I, I don't have insurance. Um, I'm just going to rebuild it myself as I've done in the past. It kind of comes with the territory, but this was a, a much bigger storm than I had anticipated. They always say five to eight feet and to evacuate, and we're always so lucky. Though this was a real severe storm, and yeah, it just did a lot of damage. Again, I'm just so happy I have my health, and you know, we're still we're still here to tell the story. Yeah, we certainly are too. Thank you for sharing your video and your story with us, and we're so glad you're okay. Thank you. Thank you, Asia. Thank you.